Pop quiz. What airport at one time was the busiest airport in North Carolina and was one of the busiest in the Southeast? Here's a tip. It wasn't Charlotte or Greensboro. With more than a decade of selling real estate in and around the Winston-Salem area, one thing that I've learned is we are blessed to be able to call this place home. This show is dedicated to showing off some of the incredible places and great people in this area. This is The Saunders Show. Hey everybody, it's Mark Saunders and today I'm at Smith Reynolds Airport right here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. A lot of people don't realize the amount of history that has to do with this building right here. The airport was originally founded in 1927 when the city representatives found out that Charles Lindbergh was going to be stopping here through his travel across the U.S. Charles Lindbergh at that time was one of the most famous people out there, not just in pilots, but across the world for his aviational knowledge. Originally, the airport was called the Miller Municipal Airport. The airport now is called Smith Reynolds Airport. Actually, the airport is named after Zachary Smith Reynolds, who was the youngest son of R.J. Reynolds. Zachary was one of the youngest people in the U.S. to receive his airline license at the age of 19. Rumor has it that it was actually signed by Orville Wright. The airport saw its heyday in the 1960s, where it was the number one used airport in North Carolina, beating out Charlotte and Greensboro. We've actually lined up a time to speak with airport director, Mark Davison, to show you just about that potential and what it could do for the city of Winston-Salem. So I'm here today with Mark Davison, the airport director here at Smith Reynolds Airport. Tell us, how long have you been here and kind of your history with the airport? I came to Winston-Salem in 2010. Our obligation to the community is to manage the airport and develop it for, for future use. And uh, we range from mowing the grass to managing the facilities. We manage over half a million square feet of hangars and, and facilities. So what a lot of people don't know and what I didn't know living here in Winston-Salem is the history this place has. Tell me a little bit about the history of the airport. Yeah, back in 1927 when it was learned that Charles Lindbergh was going to come to, to Winston-Salem after with the Spirit of St. Louis after his transatlantic flight. Um, the city leaders said, hey, we need to find a real cool place for him to land. We really don't have a, a great place. So I think uh, Clint Miller donated like $17,000 and they picked this site that we're on right now here at Smith Reynolds for him to come. He was like, you have to understand, he was the most famous person in the world at the time. And so it was a real big honor and I think over 100,000 people came out for him landing and then um, the airport grew from there. And so after that, in the 40s, 50s and 60s, um, the airport grew and in the 60s it was one of the busiest airports in North Carolina. So what's going on at the airport now? What, what's, what's it like out here today? Yeah, we, we found our niche. Our niche is um, business aviation. Uh, we have a lot of corporate aircraft flying in for business. Uh, we also have a lot of maintenance, repair, and overhaul. We still keep our, our certification so we can still handle the Wake Forest football team or stuff like that. And we also have flight training as well as recreation. So we keep the commercial airline service primarily over at Greensboro. And then we have our own little niche here. There's actually a book that was started when the Smith Reynolds Airport was dedicated in 1940. Yeah, when this building, in 1941, they put out a guest book and people, visitors are still signing the book and it's pretty amazing. And so this is just a guest log, visitor log, of all the people that's been through the airport and they sign it all the way up to today. Point out some of the some of the people that's been through the airport. Yeah, I mean, you go on the first page and uh, Tom Davis as well. Uh, he's the founder of Piedmont Airlines. They were a great company and everyone here in the community that's a the local sure knows about Piedmont Airlines, but you get further into the book, as you can see here, um, you got Eva Gardner Sinatra, who writes Beverly Hills. She came in from Beverly Hills, and then Frank Sinatra signs right under it, and he says, me too. Me too. So that's pretty <laughs> funny. We also have uh, people like George Bush, Colin Powell, Dick Cheney, Joe Biden, Pat McCrory, just different people have flown in as, as well as I signed the book a couple years ago. Well, I did. Go. So, um, but we're welcome you guys to sign it and be a part of history. Tell me about the picture up here. You, you, you touched on that briefly as I was coming in as well. What's going on here? Yeah, this is back in 19, was it 51, when the Wake Forest was dedicated. Um, President Truman at the time flew in, but you can sort of see the, the makeup of the community, the band. It's really neat. You can see the old the terminal, the way it was configured. Um, we're sort of got some ideas from moving forward, some improvements, so we're actually gonna go back to that sort of feel, because it was one of the best facilities in the country at the time. So well, I got some plans I want to show you and if we get the funding in place we're looking in the next two to three years. Awesome. 
So here is a bird's eye view of the airport and some of the things Mark is wanting to point out and show us is some of the potential for growth, some of the things that are in the works. So where's the area for growth? What's some of the plans that people, uh, are, that y'all are kicking over? This ramp right here, our main terminal ramp is being ripped up right now, as well as the last thousand feet of runway 4 uh, to 2 is being uh, reconstructed, as well as in the spring, we hope to get to Texway Hotel. One of the most exciting things is hangar development over here on this side of the airport where we're going to build a 20,000 square foot hangar and then do renovations to the existing building we're in right now. What potential could this have for job growth opportunities? The airport already uh, accounts for over 1,600 jobs. So when we expand the airport or we build this new taxiway, that's going to open up a lot of parcels on uh, that side of the airport for development to bring air, uh, you know, maintenance repair and overhaul in or corporate hangar development or whatever it might be. So the, it is a really great asset to the Northeast Ward of Winston-Salem. We have a lot of jobs out here and a lot of growth to come. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. My pleasure. This today. All right. This is great information that a lot of people don't know what's yeah. going on over here. So yeah. thanks for taking the time and, and showing us all this. So the people here at the Smith Reynolds Airport and Forsyth County Airport Commission are nice enough to give us a behind the scenes tour of the airport. So come on, let's go take a look at some airplanes. So this is called uh, the EMAS. It basically is designed to stop an aircraft traveling at about 70 knots um, in case it, you know, it breaks, fails or something. Typically, for a runway like this, you have to have a thousand feet of just plain surface beyond the runway and before the runway. So this is not a thousand feet and there's a huge ditch at the end. So it's, it's a safety hazard. Like a runaway ramp on highways, I guess, coming down a mountain. I guess, yeah. <laughs> we are one of uh, three airports in the whole of North Carolina that have EMAS. Wow. Just because you don't have room, basically. Yeah. Not bad, yeah. Not right. So this is our largest hangar. Um, it can house up to six Boeing 737s. Three on this side and three on that side. So with their contracts with like Delta or whoever you say, if their planes need maintenance, they'll actually fly them up here? Yes, so United brought their 737s here. Um, they'd be at least uh, four or five at any given day. You don't know that was, that, that was possibly the vice president? I'm pretty sure he wasn't on it, but I'm pretty sure that was his plane. That's his plane? Yeah. So that's the Smith Reynolds Airport right here in Winston-Salem. Very few places have such a rich, nice history like that, but also has such great potential for future growth. So next time you're heading up 52 North from Winston-Salem, look to your right and you'll see the Smith Reynolds Airport. If you're viewing this show on our YouTube channel, click the subscribe button below, or you can visit our website at srealtynow.com. This is Mark Saunders, and I'll see you next time.